Hello and welcome to the tutorial on adding Fitment via the product editor for Sherta. So this video is going to show you how to actually add Fitment values to your listing. Now these Fitment values will both be used on eBay and the shirt on the storefront if you have the EPID search set up. Now an important things to go over real quick, make sure you've already set up your settings correctly and make sure that Fitment compatibility is turned on. Additionally, remember that for every listing, you're allowed to have up to 3,000 Fitment. So if you try adding more Fitment than that, eBay will return you an error, or at the very least, they're going to truncate your Fitment and cut it off at 3,000. Um, this includes the total number of EPIDs submitted by all different methods. So as you know, we mentioned, we have both the catalog EPID and the catalog EPID and the regular EPID. And in bulk, you'll notice there's actually the third way, which is the year, make, model. And all three of those methods combined must equal 3,000 or less. If you have more than that, you can actually create duplicate listings. Um, eBay will allow you to have up to five. So I just want to reiterate that. Now, looking here, we'll show you just, it's actually pretty simple. So once you have your account set up, uh, let's see here, should have the settings here. So again, we have all of our fitment set up right here. You'll notice these three fields here. This is where the data is actually going to be stored. So I'll show you here. I'm just going to add some EPIDs. Now you can do a, a number of different ways. So we'll start with the most basic. I'll specify a year range, the 2010 2014. All the BMWs. And let's see here. Maybe we get a, a Z4. Just to have those. Let's go here. It's going to add all the Z4's different trim and engine types. Additionally, if you wanted to, you can filter to a specific trim and engine type. If you know it only fits, you know, specifically three liter engines. However, if you'd like it to fit all the model uh, Z4's, then you can just stop at that point and you can let it go down. Same thing if you wanted to stop at a specific trim. If I add this here and don't fill out engine, It'll provide, well, in this case, there's only one, but if there are multiple engines, it would provide all those engines. And you can paginate through them here, just to make it a little easier to read. You'll notice here you have the actual EPID number. This is what we're going to send to eBay, and it's what we're actually going to save. This is just here for your reference. This is what it is in eBay's uh, lookup table that we showed you in the, in the first video. Now, if you ever need to remove a specific fitment, you can just do it this way. Right? And you can actually remove those fitment from that listing. Um, and you'll have to re-add them by the method I just showed you if you ever need to put them back. So once you hit X, you have to come back up here to add them. And additionally, you'll see here we have the fitment notes section here. So this would be fits on the rear end only. All right. So you put this in here, and we'll actually get this to get added to the fitment note section. Right now in SureDone, um, via the UI at least, you're limited to one fitment note per listing. So you can actually do what he did here uh, via the user interface. But you can add a fitment note right there. So that, oh, I think this is my listing, sorry. Now, this is the one way. This is if you're selling you know, a part that fits many different types of vehicles, etc. However, sometimes you might be selling an OEM part or an actual brand specific part, in which case it might be in eBay's database. And if it is, then they already have the fitment associated with it and there's no need to do it by hand. So for example, if I type in BMW here, it's a bit of a vague search, so give it a second. It'll pull up all of the parts that have BMW. Now it does, I believe, truncate after maybe 50 or so results. So if you'd like to look up a specific part number, it's obviously best to put in that part number, um, though it can be tricky with the dashes and the spacing and whatnot. So if you don't, you put in BMW and you can actually search here. Um, and it's like a type ahead, so it'll actually search inside that results list for you. I put this on here. It's gonna load the catalog EPID. So that's this number here. This is the catalog EPID number. Remember, you're allowed to have one of those in addition to all of these if you'd like. And it's gonna take all of the parts that that's compatible with and put it in here. Cool. Now, just so you get a better idea of how it's working in the back end, I'm going to go to the custom field section where you'll see at the top we have the fitment EPIDs. 
So these are all the actual EPID values. Again, these bold numbers here. And we actually automatically populate them in this custom user field for you. And this is what we send to eBay. So we actually send this information here and they convert it back into year make models on their side. You'll also notice that we can have a catalog EPID field. Remember, you can only have one of those, but that's the number of the actual BMW part and it automatically associates all that fitment with it. So we'll see that number right here again. So again, this whole section is really just for your visual um, assistance. The actual data is stored in the custom fields. And you can modify those directly if you'd like, or you can do what many people do and you just hide them and never worry about them again. Once you do that, you click update or retry item and the fitment will get pushed up and it would look like this. And it's not just eBay that will push the fitment data to. You'll also be able to use the same fitment on your Sheridan storefront. And here in the top left hand corner, you'll see they actually have a year make model filter as well. So we can do the same kind of search, 2005 BMW, and let's say for a Z4. And you can actually search that and what Sheridan does, if you look at the URL, you'll notice this actually, we're looking for specific EPIDs now on those filters. So we'll search whatever field you have mapped for your EPIDs, and we'll search to see if any of the 2005 BMW Z4 EPIDs are in there. In this case, there are two. And these are all the parts that are compatible with that. And this will help your customers as they're going into the category. They can filter down to just parts that are relevant for their vehicle. Um, and this works for the motorcycle parts just as well. So it's the same concept. A few things you might want to note is that on the left here, you'll see we have all of the different years um, as well as the makes and the, the models. If you'd like to limit any of those lists, you know, for example, if you only carry specific years and makes, we can reduce that list uh, as part of the setup process. Just let the uh, person implementing the fitment search on your site know what year and makes you would like to offer. Because the shirt and storefront fitment really just piggybacks off of the same fitment section that we use for eBay. So it's all they're both relying on EPIDs and they both work on the exact same mapping of that field. Now, the next video is going to show you how you can modify these values in bulk. So all of this is about the user interface and using this tool here to actually populate information into these custom user fields. The next video is going to show you how you can edit these custom user fields directly and use that to upload fitment without having to go through our UI. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video.